People traveling with Delta Airlines are dealing with headaches across the country and here on the Sun Coast. Many Delta flights have been canceled or delayed after a computer system outage. This comes less than three weeks after Southwest Airlines had similar issues. ABC 7's Rick Adams joins us now with how this is affecting travelers. Rick. Yeah, guys, it's been a frustrating day for people trying to fly Delta today. Hundreds of flights are canceled while hundreds more are delayed. We're somewhat disappointed. Don and Carol Williams were looking forward to their trip to Raleigh, North Carolina, but that trip has now been postponed indefinitely. Delta Airlines canceled more than 400 flights, and hundreds of other flights were delayed worldwide because of a power outage to their computer systems around 2.30 Monday morning. These problems forced the Williamses to cancel their flight. It is frustrating, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. Nobody did this on purpose. Delta says on a typical Monday, Day, they have 6,000 flights globally. At Sarasota Bradenton International Airport, of the 14 daily Delta flights that fly out or come in, there are a handful of delays and one cancellation. The airport's president, Rick Piccolo, says this is a prime example of how important technology is in today's world, especially when you're flying. It affects their ability to schedule it, to do weights and balances, to do everything that, that is now relying on computers to, to program it. So, uh, when they don't have the computer system, there's no way to do it all by hand. This site at SRQ is something that can be seen at airports all across America. Delta says they're doing all they can to get things back on track. Marianne Tradilius of Bradenton is flying Delta from SRQ to Las Vegas. She's one of the lucky Delta passengers. So far, my plane that's taking off at 1120 is scheduled to be on time. Delta tells us that customers who are affected will receive a full refund or have their flight rebooked. A Delta spokesperson says they are working as fast as they can and it could still be a few days before everything is back to normal. And Delta officials are still trying to figure out exactly how this power outage happened.